Welcome back to the channel guys hope you are doing extremely well and welcome to yet another lecture of binary tree right so we are going to discuss the question check if tree is height balanced or not check if tree is height balanced or not so what do the question mean the question means that as usual you will be provided with the root node this is a tree and this is my root node right you have to tell me whether the tree is height balanced or not height balanced means that the sum the difference of absolute value difference or I can say absolute difference between left subtree height height of left subtree and height of right subtree height of right subtree height of right subtree should be less than equals to one less than equals to one means either zero or one either zero or one right so if I check for the node A, if I check for this node, what is my height on the left? What is my height on the left? That is like, what is the, like we have discussed the height options, right? We have discussed the height in the following playlist only. So the height on the left is B, D, that is two. Height on the left is two. Height on the right is one, two, three. It is three here. So three minus two is actually giving me one. So it is actually correct because less than equals to one, right? It is correct. For B, like height balance will be checked for each and every node. Height balance will be checked, will have to be true, will have to be true for each node, for each node, right? Suppose I give you a tree, something like this, A, B, C, D, E, right? For this subtree, for this tree, you can see that A, left height is 1, 2, right height is 1, 2. It is height balance because 2 minus 2 is 0. But for B, for B, or I can extend it much more. I can say it is E, F here and G here. Now I can say that for B, what is the left height? It is 1, 2. It is 1, 2. And what for the right? It is 0. You can see that B right is null. So it is 0. Similarly, on the case of 2, in the, on, the, on the case of C, left height is 0 and the right height is 2. The difference of 2, 0 is 2. Difference of 2, 0 is 2. You can see that these two nodes are not height balanced because the left subtree is actually very much greater than the right subtree. The di absolute difference is not among these values, right? So this tree is actually turning false. This tree is actually turning false. Coming back to the original tree we have. For A, it is true. For B, is 1 and 1, right? So it is also true because the difference is 0. For D, it is 0, 0. Okay, it is also correct. For E, 0, 0. It is also correct. For C now, left subtree is 1 and 2 but the right is 0 2 minus 0 is 2 which is not equivalent to any of these values that means i will return false for this one i will turn false for this one and if any one node gives me false the whole tree will return false the whole tree will return false now tell me if your tree looks something like this like the values don't matter here right the answer is invariable from the values a b c etc i just need a node suppose my tree looks something like this Is it a valid one? Is it a valid one? So if I check for this, it is 1, 2, but right is 0. So that means it is false. It is false. Now if the tree looks something like this, 1, 2, 1, 2, and do this, right? And similarly, something like this. Now if I check, so it is 1, 2, 3, 4 on the left side, but right on the side 1. So 4, 1, 3, it is also returning false. But this thing of checking left and right, you have to do with all nodes. You have to do with all nodes. So the prerequisite for this video is watching the depth of the tree. Depth or you can say height of the tree. Right? Already discussed in the playlist only. You can follow the playlist a uh, few lectures above and you can see the video for the depth and height. I will try to attach the link in the description as well for your convenience. And the video at the end screen also. Right? So please watch this one because I will not be explaining how to find the depth. Right? How to find the depth. Now. If I, my, my concept is, what did I say while I was explaining the question, I was saying that for each node, for each node, height balance is important. Height balance is to be checked. Height balance is to be checked. This is your main approach. This is your main approach. Now, as I always say, binary tree question means traversal. Binary tree question means traversal. This is my main mantra for this playlist. Whenever there is a question for binary tree, 
you have to apply driver so 99% problems are based on driver so now how will you solve it how will you solve it so as i discussed suppose my tree is something looking like this one two three four five six suppose this is my tree now how will i check for it how will i check for it so first thing i said i want to check for all nodes i i said i want to check for all nodes so whenever i say for each node that means traversal is linked traversal is linked so i will use a pre-order only because i find it more easier to show on the pre-order you can use anyone in order or post order thus the need is you have to traverse all nodes so when your node or node is this one when you are exploring this one what can you do in the height video we discussed that we will calculate the left height and the right height separately and we will choose the maximum among them that is calculate height of left and write separately and calculate the maximum among them calculate maximum among them among them this was the main of this was the main uh, accomplishment of finding the height like suppose i want to find the height of this node what did i do i sent for the recursion call for this node i sent for the recursion call for this node whatever this return whatever this return i chose the max and i added one this will be height of this node right so height of this and height of this maximum choose karo and then plus one and that will be the height of this node that was our algorithm in the height video also we will use the same algorithm but now i want the height of this node and this node so what will i do i will just say that in the recursion function in the algorithm suppose you are exploring one node you will say l equals to height of my left node height of my left node suppose the node is known as root root left and similarly r equals to height of root right height equals to root right right now what can i do see up three cases can occur if my l equals to equals to r right or in the same case i can say l minus r absolute difference is equals to equals to one that is this is the actual case of absolute difference of l minus r is less than equals to one right this is the actual case now in this case this node is actually correct this node is actually correct this node is actually correct so what will you do you will say that i am fine just go towards this node just go towards this node otherwise return falls from here only right if this is true then what should also be true the same function suppose this is the function calling the root the same function for the left as well should be true so the same function for the right as well should be true if this condition is true if this condition is true then return f of root left f of root left and this is an and remember f of root right f of root right right so both all the three conditions should be true this should be true this should be true and this should be true to return the true right otherwise if this condition is false if this condition is false return false return false right and that recursion will take care of itself so what is actually happening you will come at this node you will call for this node you will call for this node the height from this node the circle this node will come out to be one two it will return two it will return two and you will see two minus two is zero so you will call a recursion on this node separately on this node now this will call this node and this node which will return one here one here and it will be the difference of zero so i will again call this node and this node again these will be returning true 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 right and all of them are returning true so my answer will be true if one of them had returned false i would have returned false right this is the case but it is not the optimized code it is not the optimized code why if i draw the tree again you must have observed you must have observed that suppose this is my tree one two three four five six suppose this is my tree so what was actually happening is you can have see that i was going for this this was my first now when i was calling for this node i actually called this node these two nodes were called these two nodes were called right now these two nodes were called and i was actually trying to find the height this was for the height right this was for the height i checked out for the height i checked out for the height i compared them and when I, when this come uh, the results of this that is l minus r is less than equals to 1 was true for this node i called the function for this and this separately you know you can see that these two nodes were actually visited before also these two nodes were actually visited before also so they are occurring twice you have been traversing them twice 
traversing them twice and that is the case for unoptimized code unoptimized code in a case this is your brute force code this is your brute force code and interviewer is not going to get impressed by the brute force approach the interviewer wants you to tell you the brute force approach then the efficient one if any exists and then the optimized version right so we have discussed the brute force approach which is very simple what was the brute force approach let me write on the pseudocode suppose i call the function for f of root right what will happen this will say if my root is equals to equals to null is equals to equals to null return true for null i don't have to do anything return true right otherwise what will you do you will first check the height of left one you will first check the height of left one that is l equals to height of root left r equals to height of root right of root right now if absolute difference of l minus r is less than equals to 1 and f of root left and f of root right in that case return true return true otherwise in the else case return false simply return false this is the case right this is the call for the function you will have to define the height function separately which will be taking the long long right like i will define the height function here which we have discussed in the video as well right but the case is that each node is getting traversed twice and that that is why the complexity is actually going up till o of n square o of n square that is the case here i don't want this time complexity to go off on n square i want to optimize it space complexity is also o of one but it is using some recursion stack space it is using some recursion stack space right let us overlook the recursion stack space for now let us focus on this o of n square what can i do to optimize this suppose this is my tree structure let us take an false example This is an example of false. Why? Because this node is actually getting a height difference of 2. You can see 1, 2 and 0 here. So 2 minus 0 is 0. How will I do it? How will I do it? Suppose the nodes are A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Now I will call the function for A node. That is a root node given to me in the question. I will call the function for it. Now A will call B and C to get the height. Right? A will call L. L is called by A. R is called by A. Right? I want the height of left subtree of A in LA, height of right subtree of A in RA. Right? When the function calls come to 1, B will call this, that is LB and RB. Right? When the function call comes to D, D will call for LD and RD and similarly LE and RE. Correct? Now, this is going to return 0, this LD is going to return 0 rd is gonna return 0 right rd is gonna return 0 why because the nodes are null i will take the maximum among them which is 0 plus 1 that i will return 1 here i will return 1 here l e r e l e r e they are also gonna return 0 0 so r r r b is also gonna be 1 1 and 1 the maximum is 1 plus 1 i will return 2 this is the actual height you will say that we are doing the same only right we are calculating the height okay but now is the time for some twist. What will happen when I am calling for RA? RA will come here. RA will go, go for LC and RC. RA will go for LC and RC. LC is going to turn 0. But RC is going to continue. RC is going to continue. RC comes to F. It will call for LF and RF. It will call for LF and RF. Okay. LF is going to turn 0 again. Coming to G. LG and rg both of them are returning 0 0 plus 0 maximum is 0 i will be returning 1 1 comma 0 it is true f it is true for f also 0 comma 1 i will be returning 1 2 1 i will choose the maximum that is 1 and i will return 2 now when i get 2 here that means for the c node i have left test 0 right as 2 it is a false node it is a false node now can i do something to optimize it so that i don't have to visit c again my approach is i do not want to explore c again 
because what is going to happen for c the same recursion call will be made the same recursion call will be made but i will have to deal c differently right the same recursion call i don't want to repeat that again and again again and again and again and again so what can i do i say l equals to 0 r equals to 2 let us say that i return something like this i return some keyword some keyword which tells my parent which tells my parent that i am not height balance that i am not height balance i am not height balanced right this is a technique we want to tell our parent that is the a node here that see i am not height balanced so please return false i don't want you to cover me again please return false on my behalf okay that is 0 comma 2 the it should have returned 3 it should have returned 2 or 3 that is the height of the c node but it will be returning something other than 3 now my guess is that height of a node can never be minus 1 height of a node can never be negative right height cannot be negative so return minus 1 you can use minus 2 also return minus 1 okay now a gets two values a gets l equals to 2 and r equals to minus 1 but as soon as it encounters r equals to minus 1 it will say see my right subtree has going something wrong for right subtree there is something wrong so let me wait minus 1 indicates that the some node in the right subtree is not height balanced and if some node is not height balanced then the tree cannot be height balanced so i will be returning minus 1 so it will also return minus 1 and that is the code here so what is i'm what i'm going to do is my driver function will call for uh, so I'll suppose my this is my driver function right which is called which it had root in the uh, what do we say the arguments it will call for the function it will say answer equals to let's say solve let's say let's define a function solve which will send root here now what will solve do what will solve do so solve is taking int value int solve which is taking my root the base case it remains same if root equals to equals to null in that case return true not true in the case is in this in this case return zero because uh, so always actually a height function right return zero now what will happen for root l equals to solve for root left l equals to solve for root left and similarly r equals to solve for root right solve for root right i got the value of the left subtree i got the value of the right subtree now the case can arise is if l equals to equals to minus 1 or r equals to equals to minus 1 in both the cases in this case left subtree is not height balanced in this case right subtree is not height balanced so what will i do in this case i will return minus 1 simply that if my left subtree and my right subtree are not happy i am definitely not happy otherwise if both of them any of them is not minus 1 then what will you say if the absolute difference of l minus r is less than equals to 1 what do you will return you will return the height you will not return true or false you will return the height you will return its height so return maximum of l comma r plus 1 otherwise if that is not the case if this is not the case in the else case you will simply return minus 1 and here after getting the answer from the solve you will say if answer equals to equals to minus 1 return false otherwise return true otherwise return true that is the whole code and now you can see this tree each node is getting explored only once and has the time complexities o of n with the space complexity of o of 1 plus recursion stack space plus recursion stack space which is something like o of log n i guess but i'm not sure so i'm not committing to it but it will be o of n which is highly improvement on the previous approach which was quadratic right now it is time for us to see the code the actual code all right so as you can see this is a coding section but before starting with the code i would like to request you to please subscribe to my channel if you're new here and do hit the like button as much as possible moving on to the code what we will do we will say end answer equals to let's say solve for root solve for root now what will happen int solve tree node star root oh sorry the parentheses are a little wrong let me correct it tree node star root what will happen if my root equals to equals to null equals to equals to null in that case return zero that is the height is currently zero otherwise int l equals to solve the function for root left and similarly right it is sorry it is r equals to solve the function for root right for root right 
Now the case can arise is if L equals to minus 1 that is left subtree is wrong or R equals to minus 1 that is right subtree is wrong. In both the case any of the case can occur return minus 1. Otherwise if absolute difference between L minus R is less than equals to 1 in that case return the height of the current node which is maximum of L comma R plus 1 right otherwise return minus 1 return minus 1 that is in the else case you can say return minus 1 if this absolute difference is not true if this absolute difference is less is greater than 1 in that case return minus 1 right okay here if my answer equals to equals to minus 1 return false else return true return true let us try to compile and run it hope it will work fine should not give any error it is working fine for the test cases let us try it for the submit button as well working fine and please make sure to comment down your views uh, if you have understood please write, make sure to write down understood and thank you for watching we'll meet in the next video till then stay stay tuned and keep coding thank you have a nice day